Hello all, welcome to Learn with Nanda. I am Sharanya and today we will be discussing the basics of a very important topic in physics, electromagnetic induction. Before getting into the video, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. In basic words, electromagnetic induction is the phenomenon by which an electrical conductor experiences an electromotive force across its ends when placed in a varying magnetic field. One varying magnetic field is the number of electrical conductor in a place here, across its ends, that is the EMF force experience. If we consider a simple experiment, let us take a wooden cylinder or a paper cylinder and take an insulated copper wire and wind it across it in the form of a solenoid as shown in the picture. This is the setup of the solenoid. This is the last session, magnetic effects of current in the last dimension. This solenoid is आ कॉपर वायर ने रंडे एंड ने नम्बर लोरी गैल्वेनोमीटर लोट कनेक्टी है ना गैल्वेनोमीटर रंडा जी ने इट एक्चुअली डिटेक्स द करंट फ्लो थ्रू द कोइल सो व्हेन अब देर इस अ करंट फ्लो इन द कोइल द गैल्वेनोमीटर शोस डिफ्लेक्शन टुवर्ड्स द राइट साइड और टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट साइड डिपेंडिंग ऑन � as we all know, a magnet has a north pole and a south pole. Consider such as the magnet faces the coil with its north pole. Our magnet in the north pole and the coil set up in the solenoid set up in a phase. When we are keeping the magnet stationary at a point and it is not moving, there is no deflection in the galvanometer, indicating that there is no current flow through the solenoid. Now, we are moving the magnet slowly towards the coil. நம்மிடை magnet in the north pole நான் நம்மிடு coil தே அடுத்தோட்டு பதிய கொண்டு வேறானும். So, when the magnet is in motion, we can see that there is a deflection in the galvanometer. To be precise, to the right side. So, நம்மிடு north pole நான் introduce EMBO right side லோட்டுடு deflection கண்டு. Which means that there is a current flowing through the coil when the magnet is moving, right? இனி, இ magnet நான் நம்மிடு move இது ஒரு particular point லத்தி stationary ஐட்டு வைக்கியானும். பின்ன நம so what happens? The galvanometer also stops deflection. There is no more deflection seen. It is sta standing straight. So we can infer that when the magnet is moving, there is a current flow in the conductor. magnet conductor Now we are taking it back away from the conductor. That is, we are taking the north pole and moving it away from the solenoid. So what happens? We can see the deflection in the galvanometer when the magnet is moving, but this time towards the opposite direction. Now when we are taking it back away from the solenoid, we can see the deflection towards the left side. What does this indicate? The galvanometer changed its direction implies that the current flow through the solenoid also changed its direction. நம்மிட சோல்னோட்டு உள்ளிக்குட போன்ன கரண்ட டிரக்சன் மாரி என்னானு கால்வினுமீட்டிர்னு டிப்லக்சன் காணிக்கின்னது. Why does it change? Because we have taken the motion of the magnet in the opposite direction. Magnet உள்ளிலுட்டு கொண்டு ஓயப்போ, right side லோட்டு டிப்லக்சன் காணிச்சு, magnet இந்த direction, motion இந்த direction நம்மில reverse சீதப்போ, கால்வினுமீட்டிர்ன when we are moving this magnet swiftly, we will get a little bit of speed and we will get a little bit of speed and we will get a little bit of speed and we will get a little bit of speed. That is when the velocity of the motion of the magnet is increased, the deflection also increased. Which means that, we will get a little bit of current in the magnitude, we will get a little bit of current in the magnitude. Now, Repeat the same experiment with a slight difference. That is, we have a magnet in the polarity. We have the north pole and the north pole. Now, reverse the polarity of the magnet. Keep the south pole facing the coil, facing the solenoid and move it towards and backwards. Again, you can see that whenever the magnet is moving, there is a deflection in the galvanometer. But this time, when the south pole is moving towards the coil, we can see the deflection in the towards the left side. And when the south pole is moving away from the coil, we can see the direction towards the right side. Namala north pole kondu oye po pole alla, avada alla direction da neera opposite side, reverse side. Namala south pole kondu oye po galvanometer deflection ganchada. 
So again, we can infer that the direction of current flow inside the coil also depends on the direction of or the polarity of the magnet. So to quickly summarize the experiment, we can say that whenever the magnet is in motion, when it is moving towards the coil or away from the coil, there is an induced current in the coil. And when the magnet is stationary, when it is not moving, there is no current induced. And the direction of the induced current depends upon the direction of motion of the magnet and also the polarity of the magnet. The magnitude of the current depends upon how fast we move the magnet towards the coil or away from it. This phenomenon is called electromagnetic induction and it was discovered by Michael Faraday in 1831. We have induced current in the magnitude of the magnet. That is the galvanometer deflection. It is increased. The magnet in the motion is the speed. Increase the velocity of the magnet when it is moving towards or away from the coil. The second is use a strong magnet. One strong permanent magnet you see. How much strength is the magnet? That is the answer to our current magnitude also increases. And the third method is to increase the number of turns in the coil or increase the area. Our solenoid is the wind of the copper, insulated copper wire in the area. Or the number of turns in the area. This is the induced current in the magnitude. As you saw in the experiment, one magnet is moving up. That is why a current is induced in the solenoid coil. But how does this happen? This is because when we are moving the magnet, we are actually changing the magnetic flux which is around it. That is, one magnet is in a magnetic field. In that field, we have to measure the magnetic flux. So, when we move a magnet, we move the magnetic flux change out and this change of flux causes an induced EMF in the conductor due to which there is a current flow. From this, we are moving on to Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction which states that whenever there is a change in magnetic flux linked with a coil, there is an EMF induced in it. Also, the magnitude of this EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of flux. Again, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction पारे इन्दर दें दानो अच्छाल एप्पर के आनो ओरु कोइल ने लिंगडाई टोला मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स चेंज आवन दा चेंज आवन ना समय ता ई कोइल ले ओरु ईएमएफ इंड्यूस्ड आवन दा ई ईएमएफ इन्दर मैग्नेटियोडन दो वारे इन्दर ई रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ फ्लक्स दा दे एक्टर तोड़ फ्लक्स से एक्टर now, this induced dye EMF in a direction can do it again when there is a separate law which is called as the Lenz's law. The Lenz's law states that the direction of the induced EMF is such that it always tends to oppose the cause which produces it. Now, the induced EMF produce one or the reason is because of the change in magnetic flux in the world. So, in the direction of the flux change in the world, that is the opposite direction of the induced EMF. Induced EMF ने produce यान वाला cause सिने opposite इन रीडी लायर की माध्यम डायरेक्शन इधर आने lenses लो बराई नंद। For example, नम्मले पोरू magnet ने solid और नार्थ तोटो कोण्डो एरवन। Just imagine that north pole is facing the coil, and when we are trying to move the coil towards it, the direction of induced EMF will be in such a way that it should oppose the cause, अल। अब नम्मले north pole ने नार्थ तोटो कोण्डो एरवन बो आधे repel लिया ना। which means the coil will have its north pole at this side, facing the magnet. So, run the north pole where it will oppose. So, the induced EMF will be in such a way that it creates a north pole at the face uh, of the coil which is facing the magnet. In the north pole, it should attract it. To oppose the force, it should attract it. So, here we will have a south pole uh, created. So the induced EMF will create a south pole at the face of the coil which is facing the magnet when the magnet is moving away from it. So this is the basic Lenz's law. Lenz's law is Newton's third law of motion. That is, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And also the conservation, the law of conservation of energy. That is, uh, energy is neither created nor destroyed. It can be only converted from one form to another. These two laws, the law of conservation of energy, uh, Newton's third law of motion, obey the lenses law. Induced DMF in the direction of the lenses law, we have two different hand rules. 
these were put forward by John Fleming's and these are known as the Fleming's left hand rule and Fleming's right hand rule. Both uh, rules are quite similar and uh, the only difference is that they are used in different scenarios like Fleming's left hand rule is more associated with electric motors along with those devices which draws electricity whereas Fleming's right hand rule is more uh, con uh, associated with the uh, devices which generates electricity electric generators the bolo devices lana we use the Fleming's right hand rule so in our condition we are inducing an emf to the coil or we are generating an emf because of the magnetic field so um, here we'll be using the Fleming's right hand rule the rule goes like this we have to stretch out our thumb forefinger and middle finger in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular you can see that thumb and forefinger and thumb angle is 90 degree forefinger and middle finger uh, the angle between them is 90 degree and also the angle between thumb and middle finger is also 90 degree now uh, usually moon axis x y z axis they are mutually perpendicular now in such a condition the Fleming's right hand rule states that when the thumb represents the mo direction of motion of the conductor uh, the forefinger represents the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represents the direction of induced current so namada uh, conductor na motion I and mean, the relative motion between the conductor and magnet will be represented by this thumb so if a more lot on a conductor na motion angle the uh, forefinger uh, will represent the direction of magnetic field that is magnetic field and direction will be towards this direction and the induced current will be towards this direction so this is the Fleming's right hand rule and with this we can find out the direction of induced current and also the similar is the case with Fleming's left hand rule but we are not using in this uh, case because it's associated with electric motors so these are the basics of electromagnetic induction we will look into further details on this topic in the upcoming sessions. Also, if you have any doubts in any topic that we discussed today, please do let us know in the comment section. For more such classes, there is an online class platform. This initiative is called Photon, where you will be having experts taking classes in different subjects. So if you are interested to join, please do contact in the number given below. And also for more details, check out the description box. Thanks for watching.